Well, now to those subs and the announcement today that one of them is finally getting back in the water. Our Tom Murphy has that story for us. Tom. Peter, HMCS Windsor is finally coming out of a costly refit this week. Now there's a personnel problem. Perched on a Halifax pier, HMCS Windsor hasn't been this close to sailing for years. Uh, we hope to have the HMCS Windsor in the water tomorrow. Georgia's Island Lights. Now the question is, will there be enough submariners to sail Canada subs, including the two still being repaired? Internal defense documents point to a declining number of qualified submariners and concern over their experience levels. The documents call the level of knowledge inadequate, adding there is no magic fix. The problem? The used British subs have been out of commission so much, the Submariners Canada does have are rusty at best. No operational subs, no at-sea training. These problems of competency and certification escalate. So this is a very serious problem for the Navy. Fire. The Navy just celebrated the success of finally getting one of the subs, HMCS Victoria, to fire a torpedo last month. If it wasn't for bad luck, this program would have no luck at all. The Liberals who bought the subs, which are in for $2 billion in refits, say sail on. The Navy needs to hang in with the program and continue, uh, continue as uh, far as these uh, assets will take them. Which brings us back to HMCS Windsor. Getting it alone ready to dive has meant skyrocketing refit costs. For just the year 2010, the Navy spent $45 million repairing Windsor. It had budgeted just 17. As for a crew to sail it and the others, the training is on. We should be able to meet our operational requirements. And the Defense Department is sticking to its plan to have three subs in the water in 2013. Peter. Fred. All right, Tom, thanks very much. Tom Murphy here in Halifax.